From KPRC Channel 2, this is Houston Newsmakers with Cambrell Marshall. And welcome to Newsmakers Extra. Welcome once again to Captain Paul Matthews, the founder and executive director of the Buffalo Soldiers National Museum. How did you get the idea to start this? Well, I was an ROTC cadet at Prairie View back in the 1960s, and I read two paragraphs in one military book about the Buffalo Soldiers and became very intrigued about these black men in these blue uniforms. You know, I drew a lot of parallels between the 1860s in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. and, and these men did what they did, not necessarily for themselves, but for those that came behind them. What were some of the similarities from the 1800s to the 1900s? Well, the Civil War and Civil Rights. You now, we we're moving from an, an era of being enslaved to an era of uh, liberation. Mm -hmm. And the 1960s celebrated that same type of uh, movement. And so I was very excited about that. And, I was becoming a second lieutenant in the United States Army, and this was something uh, the Buffalo Soldiers couldn't even dream about. And they built this bridge of bricks for me to cross, and I didn't lay not one. Right. And I said to me, you know, that's a story that needs to be told. And from that point, that idea, it's one thing to have the idea, it's another thing to get it going and give it wings and let it grow. How difficult was it and what were some of the hurdles that got in the way that you were able to overcome? Yeah, I spent 30 years in the pharmaceutical industry. I was the director of military sales for Merkin Company. And I've been to almost every military post, uh, Air Force Base in the U.S. and Europe. And while I was traveling around, I picked up things here and there, you know, a belt buckle, a band net, a hat, a uniform. And it just led to, you know, 80% of the things you see at the museum now. How has that helped in terms of the way, where the museum is now when you move from one location to the other? How long ago has that been? A couple of years since you uh, moved to the new building? We moved in uh, November 2012. Okay. We started out in uh, 2001. Right. And so from 2001 to 2012, we were at uh, Sophomore. Mm -hmm. And then we moved to uh, the 23,000 square foot building the old armory built in 1925. Are you able now to get, because of your location and because of the increased visibility, a little bit more in terms of things that come to you now so it's not so difficult to get artifacts and things that represent uh, Buffalo soldiers of, through the years? Oh yeah, great question. Uh, I normally used to go out to you know, military meetings, estate sales, but almost every week now I get something from somebody. Right. It's just amazing that people come through and say, this has been in my garage, it's been in the attic, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen when I, when I pass. Right. So I'd rather put it to be here than lost. You have 16 years now, you have a gala coming up, and you're honoring musicians. And why musicians? Because that's not, I guess it's because we don't really think about honoring them. Yeah, well, music always played a big role in the military. I mean, you wake up in the morning, the reveille, to, you go to sleep at night, uh, you go to, to dinner, uh, even in battle, you know, historically, you followed the beat of the drum. Mm -hmm. you know, so the military has always been important. And, and we are celebrating the, the black musicians uh, because they played a key role. And uh, uh, Lewis Wells, who was a band leader in the military in a segregated army, right. now, he's in his 80s now. So we're looking forward to having him come down and, and, and do a couple of things for us. Well, it's always enlightening to talk to you, and it's always enlightening to go to the museum. If you haven't, you need to try to do that in the meantime. In fact, you can do that because the gala is going to be at the museum. That's a good thing. It's, a, <laughs> it's the first for you, is it it's not? It's the first. Uh, I'm putting information on the screen, reminded people about where it is and what's going on there. It's going to be the 16th annual gala. It's honoring military musicians. It's Friday, the 26th. It's $150 for a ticket. The number is 713-942-8920 for more information. Or you can go to buffalosoldiersmuseum.com. We didn't get that on the screen. You can go to my website, clicktohewson.com, and go to the Newsmaker section. Under the News segment, we'll give you all the information you need. Captain, good to see you again, as always. Good my luck pleasure. on the gala coming up on Friday. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me as well.